Alright, after you created your composition, go and add a new layer and add a new shape layer. And then add a rectangle and then add fill to add its color. I'm gonna use this color. Alright, after you did that, go to rectangle pass and change its size to 500. Okay. Now duplicate this layer and then add another field so you can change its color then do what I do here now change its color to yellow and then go to rectangle pass make sure to unlink this and change this to 100 I'm gonna duplicate this by using Ctrl plus D four times and then I'm gonna turn on the 3D option now change your view to custom view 1 and just make it cube Make sure to turn on the snapping so it automatically connect these sides. Alright, after you created that, uh, again, duplicate your first layer and now call it your bottom and then just add it 90 to X rotation and add it to your bottom of your cube or GIF that you're working with. And now again duplicate it and this time call it top change it to negative ninety and then go to contents rectangle pass and duplicate this one and change it to 500 and change this one to 100 so we have like a plus on here all right so this is our uh, i don't know gift box now I want to add a little more spice so I'm gonna hide these layers except the top layer I'm gonna duplicate this This part we don't need the plus sign so again go to contents and delete the part that you make all right after you did that uh, 
press Y on your keyboard or like just go and tap the this tool and put your anchor point all the way up here and now you can change its size like this and give your box I don't know something like a lap okay now you can duplicate this layer and choose this tool make your anchor point all the way here all right now and change your Y rotation to 90 and then again go to your selection tool option and change the extrusion depth to 100 I think that will work for me okay now change your camera view to top so you can like add it the way that you want to you know what I'm saying that make sure to again use this tool so you can add your anchor point to your layer okay, now I think this would work for me again change your camera view to top and I want this to be exactly here make it a little bit bigger so it looks better all right now duplicate it and add like 180 y rotation to it and i think this is going to be your final look Okay, now let's turn on 
the other parts all right now make sure to connect these layers to your top layer so like they move all together okay now i want to add a new camera layer so i can see better what i'm doing here all right you can choose this to see what you're doing okay as you can see like these two they can be closer to each other so like so that they can look better and we are going to do that okay i think this looks good right okay now Go to your top layer and put your anchor point to where you want your gift to be open. Okay, like I want this to be open from here, so I'm gonna put my anchor point there. Wherever you put your anchor point, your gift is going to be open from there. Alright, now let's reset our camera view. Let's do the transfer that we want. Go to wire rotation. And I'm gonna go like this bar. And sorry, go to X rotation. And go to frames forward. And I'm gonna make it open like that. I think that will work. everything that you made and we're going to call it gift and make sure to turn on this button here all right now turn on this uh, button and then turn on 3d options so you can add uh, i don't know 3d movement and transitions like this that you want but as you can see here when you want to rotate it it's going to rotate like this it's kind of weird so now go to your anchor point setting from here and change the 3d part to 2050 all right now it's gonna work normally okay now I want to add a, like a simple transition to it Make sure to ease, ease your keyframes and do the graphs that you want. If your graphs doesn't look like mine, it's because I'm using a speed graph. open from here okay so it gives a better transition that we want all right I think this is the this is the thing that I want now so it looks more realistic we're going to go to layers new and add a new light and make sure that your light type is parallel all right now let's 
change it a bit and then let's add another light okay now it looks so good as you can see all right this is the result thank you so much for watching and merry christmas everyone